<clears throat> hey guys <sighs> okay this is gonna be um, a little bit of an announcement video if you guys have been with me for a while you know my YouTube my kind of whole thing about my YouTube was that I want to teach people how to sew I want to teach them the little projects that would help you sort of um, dive right into the art of sewing so you know we're gonna start with little zipper pouches so we can get um, familiar with zippers we're going to start making small things for yourself maybe a winter hat maybe a little sunglasses case maybe a little coin purse um, just all the little things that would help you just get into sewing nothing too crazy nothing too advanced um, but as my life has progressed um, I started this YouTube channel in 2011 it was slow in the beginning but um, it has morphed into something that I never thought was possible um, so I have a really fun announcement regarding that um, if you guys already know that I've created the um, social hour podcast with my friend Bethany out of Nashville Tennessee um, and I'm up here in Canada so we haven't met yet but we are planning to meet this June we're gonna be doing a little cabin retreat with a bunch of different sewing girls and it's gonna be um, a blast I'm so excited but um, so I never thought that my YouTube channel would take me down the podcast route um, but apparently the podcast was a much needed thing and people are just so excited about just well one being interviewed on the podcast listening from week to week like it's just so crazy the feedback that we have received regarding our podcast so it has allowed me and Bethany to really open up our minds to what the possibilities are for our futures. Um, my kids are 11 and almost 9, so, you know, I'm halfway from being an empty nester, and those 11 years flew by. So I know it's not that far away. So, you, need, you know, you need, you need to start thinking about what's my next venture, because I'm a stay-at-home mom. So um, I've kind of been doing the YouTube thing as a side hustle just to like make some extra income. Luckily, we are blessed that my husband is able to take care of us with his job. Um, but you know, when your kids get older, you kind of want to you want you want to do something with your days. You don't want to just be alone and missing them, and you know, like just you want to have your own thing. And I've created this YouTube channel, and it has been my thing, which is great but I want more <laughs> does that sound bad um, so I um, I don't have any fashion design background like Bethany does she went to school for it I didn't and honestly the venture that I'm going into next is not really something that I thought that I could ever achieve and that's just because I feel like I have a lot of limitations with my intellect and it really holds me back and I'm really good I'm like a fixer-upper you know like I'm I'm really good at making things and kind of like jack-of-all-trades I can create things with my hands but I never really felt that I was the book smarts kind of person so fashion design school wasn't really something that I would have ever seeked out because I just probably assumed I kind of flunked out of college <laughs> So it was just like, okay, I need to kind of like make something for myself that um, I can use my own level of intellect to be able to cheat, which has held me back, not going to lie. Um, but um, I'm not taking fashion design school if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> but I am going to be taking pattern drafting course, which I'm so excited about and so terrified. So that is my announcement is that I'm going to be going back to school. Cool. <laughs> it's so weird um, I'm so excited though and I really really hope that I can do it I really like I'm so much more hopeful now than I was you know five years ago three years ago 
even one year ago. I mean, it wasn't until I met Bethany that she has really given me the confidence to do the things that I want to do. Um, when I said podcast to her, she was like, yep. And then all of a sudden we had a podcast. Like, I don't know. She's really been that push in my life that has made things that seemed so far away finally feel like they're in reach, which is just incredible. I'm so thankful that I have met Bethany. And if you're not already following her, you need to go over and subscribe to her YouTube channel. We're all on Instagram too, so head over there and follow us over there. Um, but that comes to my next point, which is I would love to document my progress um, with this. The design school um, is based out of Italy by a lovely woman named Victoria. Um, she's actually American, but she lives over in Italy. I'm so jealous. Um, if you don't already know, I am Italian, and I have and like I have I have relatives that live in Italy. So just like oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> but um, yeah, so she teaches a 12-week pattern drafting class course, um, kind of crash course. So it's gonna be a lot and I am going to have to focus a lot of my time on that and obviously like I've been really slow with my YouTube lately but that's just because I've been working on so many other things to try to get this foundation that I've already created into a bigger sewing learning community so I've made those patterns um, and now I would love to really advance my skills I didn't think it was possible but I feel like now that I have Bethany and Amy from DIBY Club um, we're doing it together as a trio um, I feel like with that support system if I have any problems I always have people to back me up or to help me and um, encourage me along the way because I don't know if I could do it alone <laughs> but anyways I hope that you join me on this journey um, I'm super, super scared. It started yesterday. The, the good thing is, is that it's through Illustrator. So I have a lot of experience with Adobe Illustrator. I actually make most of my patterns, actually all of my patterns, what am I talking about? Any pattern that I've ever made, I've made on Illustrator. So I'm very comfortable with that. It's just all the other stuff. There's a lot of math involved with pattern drafting. But it would be really exciting to be able to make children's clothing and women's wear, wear men's wear. Um, I really, I'm interested in making the children's clothing and women's wear the most, um, especially since I still have children. So it'd be fun to be able to make them some clothing. Um, but yeah, so that's all for now. I'm going to go and do some schooling now. Um, if you have any questions about the um, school let me know in the comment section um, or any other questions for any other things um, and yeah I guess I'll see you in my next video my little update video okay <laughs>